The jailing of the key architects of the Mavoko Cemetery lands candle perpetrators is just the start. Chief Justice David Maraga and the President of the Court of Appeal, William Oko, says we will be seeing a number of high-profile incarcerations in what is aimed at restoring public confidence in the judiciary. NTV's Trevor Mbija has more. This is the first time the judiciary has held such a ceremony for a principal judge. Lady Justice Achode becomes not only the third judge to take up the position, but also the first female to have been voted in. But concerns about the public's own vote of no confidence in the judiciary was not lost in the ceremony. We are aware of many faults of our legal system, principally delays, questions of integrity, cost of litigation, and practical inaccessibility of justice to many. The judiciary has been accused of issuing orders that slowed down the wheels of justice. This has put them on a collision path with other arms of government, often eroding the confidence in the system. Our responsibility is to promote public confidence in the integrity of the office and to serve the people rather than exercise our power to rule them. We must be prepared as judges to be criticized our decisions are rightly a subject of considerable public interest because they have a concrete effect on the liberties, relationships and property of the citizenry. The sentiments come at a time when the country is facing new claims of corruption at the NYS. So far, there's only been a handful of high-profile corruption prosecutions. The first multi-billion NYS scandal is still pending in court but we can do things that ensure that people who appear before us and the public that watches what we do see that litigants, individuals and state, rich and poor, men and, men and women are treated fairly and given a voice through a full hearing. The judges also promise to fast track cases that have stalled in the corridors of justice. Trevor Ombija, NTV.